AEP has been on death row for more than two decades. And now lawyers for a convicted murderer say new evidence warrants a new trial. Angela Ingram joins us now with what evidence his lawyers think should get him off death row. Angela. Cammie Elwood Jones is in prison for beating a New Jersey woman to death. She was a guest at a hotel in Blue Ash. A witness now says that someone else did that crime. Even before his 1997 death sentence, Elwood Jones said he was innocent. Jones worked at the Blue Ash Embassy Suites. He was convicted of murdering Rhoda Nathan in 1994. The victim, Rhoda Nathan, was um, sharing a suite with her best friend and another friend. Um, and it was, um, they were all there for the best friend's grandson's bar mitzvah. Jones's lawyer says there's new evidence that warrants a new trial. A woman who was in the Hamilton County Jail years ago came forward and said another man killed Nathan. And another woman in the jail, whose name was Linda Reed, confided in her that her husband, whose name was Earl Reed, had confessed to doing the murder in the embassy suite and framing a black man for it. Both Linda Reed and her husband are now dead, leaving only the statements of the woman who was in jail with Reed. During the trial, police also said they found Nathan's pendant in Jones's car. I don't think the police and prosecutors were convinced by the pendant because even after they found this pendant, they didn't do anything to arrest or prosecute Elwood for more than a year. Barnhart says prosecutors used what she calls junk science to convict Jones. Jones had an infected hand injury that prosecutors say he got by hitting Nathan in the mouth. But Barnhart says it was a cut. At the hospital, the doctor who examined him thought that it looked like what he calls a fight bite, which is a clenched fish injury if somebody punches somebody and it gets infected you can have that same type of thing happen. Prosecutor Joe Dieters put out a statement reading in part our office will oppose Elwood Jones's motion for a new trial. His motion is based on what the state will argue is inadmissible hearsay. The Blue Ash police have no record of ever being contacted by the woman who claims to have new evidence but Barnhart believes there is enough information to win. I really think there's um a strong chance that if Elwood, you know, were tried with all the evidence that he should have had access to, this evidence about this um, confessor who confessed to not only the crime but to framing him, um, that the police never investigated or interviewed, um, that, that uh, he wouldn't be convicted today. A judge granted Jones a hearing based on the new evidence next week. Both sides will be back in court to pick a date for that hearing. Cammie, back to you. All right, Angela, thank you. And Elwood Jones does have an execution date scheduled for April of 2021.